I want to show you this video, 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy A15. And the first thing I want to show you is how to make the phone a bit faster. Because always, if you open an app, you have a little animation. It zooms out and zooms in. Have you seen it? Zooms out and zooms in. You can make the phone a bit faster by removing it. Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll down here, tap down here on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go to the point accessibility. And now you need to point vision enhancements. If you scroll down a bit, you will see now the point remove animations. Let's try it. So turn it on. It's marked blue now. And whenever I open now an app, it's immediately there. Immediately again. Let me show you a bit again. Turn this off here. Now with the animation, you see that the phone is much slower with these animations. So I really recommend to you to remove these animations. It makes your phone much faster and gives you more power here for the phone. The next feature I want to show you is for our eyes because we are looking too often on our smartphone screen and it is giving our eyes a lot of stress. But there's a way to reduce that stress for our eyes. Let me show you how. For that, just scroll down here. Scroll down a second time, then we have much more icons here. And we have this point here, Eye Comfort Shield. Just tap on it and you will see that the display has now a yellow touch. This is nothing else than a blue light filter and it is protecting your eyes. I would recommend to you now to long press your eye comfort shield. And now you have some more settings. Actually, it's on adaptive and it's automatically adjusted and so on. But I would recommend to you to squeeze out the maximum with custom because you can change the color temperature. And the more warm it is, the better it is for your eyes. Even if it's a bit unusual at the beginning, your eyes will say thank you for that. And it affects also the sleep in a positive way. Because if you're using our smartphone in the evening hours, it's not that good for the sleep. I recommend to you to set it as scheduled that it's automatically turned on and off. Just tap here and set scheduled. Go on sunset to sunrise. And you need to allow this first. Go on, allow all time. Go back with the arrow and now it's set it up. Just for the evening and the night. But as I have said, all over the day would be the best. And another feature supports your eyes, especially in the evening hours and in the night. Because if everything is dark around you and you have this wide screen, it's also not that comfortable for the eyes. There's a way to enable a dark theme for that. Let me show you how. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time. Now we have here the dark mode. Just tap on it and now everything is dark and it's much more comfortable in the evening hours. But on the day, it's the opposite, you know? So I would recommend to you to schedule the dark mode here. So just scroll down in here, scroll to Sean on a second time, long press the dark mode here. Now you have as well the settings here to turn it as scheduled from sunset. So if the sun sets, the dark mode will turn on. And if the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. So a very nice, I've turned off the both features in case you don't like it but I really recommend these both features to you. The next feature I want to show you is also for the health, more for the mental health, because there are times you don't want to feel disturbed to put the phone just in silence. Well, but there's also a way to put a phone in silence, but give it exceptions that maybe your parents or your children can still call you. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and we will have here now this do not disturb mode. Now you can turn it easily on and off and so on, but I would recommend to you to set it up first. Just, just lump us it and go on details. Because now you can set up some times, no, uh, that you don't have to turn it on and off by your own, like the sleeping time. Well, pretty nice. You can judge also more like working time and so on. But I will show you in the next step some more opportunities for that. And you can give your exceptions, like calls from your parents or from your children, or with messages as well, even app notifications and so on. This is a very nice mode to give you a bit more me time, but with exceptions for your lovely ones. But as I have said, there's a way to give some more details to that feature. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll in here, scroll down a second time, 
go on the second page, yes, we are having a second page and you will find the point modes. Just tap it on it. And for the very first time, you have the sleeping mode, but you can add also other modes. For that, just scroll in here, scroll down a second time, go on the second page and long press it now. And you have now some more options. Now you had a sleep already with the do not disturb mode, but you can set up also something for your work time. Let's try it. You can set up this feature that goes on automatically by the time period or by a place. If you work always on the same place, I would recommend you to enable the place. If you work sometimes there and there, but always the same to my ma'am, just choose the time period. Let's take the time period, maybe for just one example, go next. And now you can combine it with the do not disturb mode. So that means the exceptions are here as well in it, and you can give some more exceptions. Now, maybe not for our example, not only your parents are allowed to call you or your children, also your chef. After you have give some exceptions here, and then you can go on next, and you can set up some more stuff. You can increase the volume of the phone or make it a bit more low. You can enable the power saving mode and so on. So by the way, the sound is pretty nice because if you're working in a very loud area, it's good that the phone increases automatically. You can pick the sound if you are at your working place. Well, otherwise, you can also put it on silence if the phone is detecting on your working place and on. And you can also power saving mode. This is also pretty nice because you save energy then because you don't need your phone so often at work most of the time. And you can also set it up that it's open an app automatically if you are at work and it can immediately start. So pretty nice feature is just tap on done to confirm it. And now you have this working mode. Can you turn it on and turn it off? Let me show you how you can set it up always or turn it on and turn it off. Just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, go on a second page and you're on modes. You can always choose one of your selected modes. You can make it also for the gym, for the wide and so on with the car. And with these routines, your daily use will be much more easier. The next feature I want to show you is to use the phone with one hand because the screen is pretty large and so on. You cannot reach everything. There's a way to make the screen a bit smaller, a bit more comfortable for you. So just scroll down here, the home button, and you have a mini screen. Now I can do all the stuff you wanted to do. You can even play games with and so on. Just tap here on the outside to be back in a regular mode, but don't wonder if this feature doesn't work at you because you have to enable this feature first. So just scroll down here, tap on the symbol for the settings, then scroll down to the point advanced features. Here it is. And now enable this point, your one-handed mode, like in my case, so that it's marked blue here. That means whenever you scroll down here, the home button, you know, then you will have here this mini screen. You can put it even on the other side of the arrow if you are maybe left-handed. And here with a bar on top, you can put it to another position so that it has the perfect position here for your thumb that you can easily hold it. As I've said, whenever you finish your step and you're outside here and you're back in the regular mode. At the next tip, I want to show you something for our eyes again and something pretty simple because the screen is large enough to just increase the text size, huh? Let me show you how you can do that. Just scroll in here, tap on the symbol for the settings, and then just go down to the point display and look for the point font size and style. You can change below the font size or the text size. I've done it already here that you can follow the video better. So I would recommend to you to put it also at maximum here in the middle, like in my case now, because if you increase it too much, it will affect also the notification in a negative way because you can't read the previous anymore. So I would recommend to you to put it at maximum here in the middle. And this is as well much more comfort for your eyes. You can do also something more. Now by just tapping you on the arrow to go back one step so that we are back in the display settings. Because below font size and style, you will find the point screen zoom and this is not only the text you can increase also the icons with that can you see that so choose your favorite option i'm more the fan of the text size and yeah your eyes will say thank you again the next feature i want to show you is to save a lot of energy because most of the time we don't need the full power of the phone 
So, and for that, we have a battery power saving mode. Let me show you a bit more about it. Just scroll down here, scroll down a second time. Then we have much more icons as we have learned. And here's the power saving mode. Just tap on the battery and we save some energy. So this is pretty, pretty nice, no? So the CPU speed is limit. No, we don't need always the full power as I have said. The brightness of the screen is a bit limited and yeah, some background activities and so on. Let me show you a bit more about how you can squeeze out the maximum of this power saving mode. Let me show you how. Just long press here, the power saving mode. Then we are on the options here of the power saving mode. By the way, you will see what happened also in the background and so on and the limit. CPU speed, the decrease of the brightness by 10% and so on. But the last point is the most important one. Let me turn off at the power saving mode actually. And uh, the last point here, limit apps and home screen. It sounds so innocent, but it's very powerful. This feature, enable this one, and let's turn on now the power saving mode and see what happens. Because this one is a special power saving mode, and with this power saving mode, you can squeeze, squeeze out three times more energy from your battery. You can use your phone three times longer. So we have some basic apps here, and we can add also here with the plus symbol, some other ones like YouTube and so on, WhatsApp and so on. And we have just 15 seconds off a of screen timeout. And we have, we have a dark mode here in the back. No dark moods, saving. Energy, by the way, because we have an AMOLED screen here. And if there's a black background, the pixels are turned off. Well, that saves a lot of energy. So you should really try this feature out. Maybe this saves your life one day because you have three times more battery here with the phone. Okay, if you're ready to charge your phone, if you have the chance again, just tap on the three points. Go and turn off power saving and you're back in regular mode. By the way, nothing will be deleted or something like this. Now you can even play games in this power saving mode, but not racing games or something like this. So a pretty nice mode to save energy and as I've said, may it saves your life one day. And the last mode I wanna show you are routines. So what is a routine? Maybe you're watching Netflix. Well, you turn your phone to landscape mode, usually via box, watching, Netflix, and so on. Same also with YouTube, or another example, if you have turned on your phone for the night for your parents or children, if they call, if there's something, then why not? Enabling for the night the power saving mode. As we have learned, in, we can squeeze out the maximum from the battery then. And let me show you a bit more about these routines. So just scroll down here, tap on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go on modes and routines. So you have the modes already. So work what we have set up before is something like a routine, a pretty nice one. And here below, we have also the chance to add some routines. Okay, let's create a routine here with a plus symbol. Let's keep going on with our example with YouTube to put the phone in a landscape mode. So first of all, we need to add to something at what will trigger this routine. If let's open then, and or if the app is opened of YouTube, let's open also other apps, or let's do it for other apps. So when we open YouTube or Netflix, what should happen then at what routine we do? and we want to have the screen orientation in landscape mode. Okay, go on, done. Okay, go and save. You can give it a name as well here. Go on, done again. And now we will have our routine here. Okay, let's check it out with YouTube. Just let us go here in YouTube, and now YouTube is automatically opened in landscape mode. And if we go out now, we are back in the portrait mode. By the way, if we enter this routines, then we have also some other options here. If you have no idea what you can do as with, you know, here are some ideas next to the plus tab there, and you will see some prepared ones, what you can do and so on. You should really check this feature out and it will make your day, your daily routine much easier. I hope I could show you a nice setup here for your phone. Thank you so, so much for all your support here to watch this video. And May, if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something out that would be very helpful for my videos.